Happy Monday, Bear Bull Traders. So this morning uh, in the pre-market, I had a feeling it was gonna be a choppy day just because it's Monday and uh, the volume was rather low. But over the weekend, I told myself, I'm gonna do a 10 minute no trade challenge because um, I want to I want to avoid coming out, you know, guns a blazing at 9.35, right? Just reinforce that patience and that discipline. But today ended up being the day that uh, there were so many five minute orbs, Tal, Intel, uh, this was STX, MU, Twitter was really uh, a great opening range breakdown. And I sat it out. I didn't really get much FOMO. I was like, okay, well, I guess today isn't too choppy. But when the 10 minutes was up, then the chop started. And look at SPY. This is disgusting. Engulf, engulf, engulf. And just, oh my God, this is so nasty. People in the chat were just saying, wow, this it's, it's, it's so ugly. It's ridiculous. And I saw that and I was like, okay, I'm in no rush to take any trades right now. I waited it out. I took my first trade at 10.01, so 31 minutes, right? I saw Tal kind of uh, putting in some sort of a bottom here. I didn't really trust it. I thought, you know, it might be reverse ABCD, but then the volume really just started popping. It popped, I went long, it popped up about, this was actually a pretty decent move, 20, something like 20 cents. And then I was like, okay, we're, hopefully we get to a moving average or something just so we can take a bit off. But before we could do that, it just dumped so fast. It dumps over. You can't tell in the five minute candle, right? I went long here, I got stopped out here. So that this candle was ugly. And uh, then it continued to chop around. So small loss, not a big deal. Then I saw Intel, it made its way back to VWAP here on some sort of a reversal. Then it rejected it. And I went short right when it lost uh, the VWAP. And I got about a, I don't know, a 20 cent move, well, maybe a little bit more. But what happened, it snapped right back. <laughs> Right back, I went to go uh, stop out, accidentally added more and just stopped out of everything. Uh, you know, a little hotkey mistake, not a big deal. So I took a break, two losers in a row, took a break and I said, okay, stop it. This is chop, be patient. You can, you know, at least wait for something to find direction. Reserve your ammo, right? What did I do? I sat back down, I took Intel again. <laughs> I don't remember what I did here. I either went long or short, it doesn't matter because I stopped out and it was just chop, right? Anyways, then I saw STX clear the, it got, it freed itself from the chop fest, got above VWAP, saw a little formation on the one minute chart. Took that, caught a pop here up to 52, 54.25, and then the rest at break even. It, was, it, it also was kind of just uh, doing a little chop, really no clean move. I thought we were going to get to previous day close. We ended up getting there. I was thinking about entering here again, and I, and, and I guess, you know, it would have made it, right? But do you really want to be on this ride in between all these moving averages? I don't know. And STX is very volatile. I took it half size just because look at the ATR on this thing. Uh, that's four bucks. That's a four dollar range today. So it's almost ten percent on this stock, right? Anyways, there was that, and then some other trade I took on AMD. It's a silly move, but at around uh, I, get, well, I had one trade left at ten forty five. And what did I do? I, I saw Intel is going to do a breakout here, kind of like a little ABCD breakout. Went long. I put my stop here, and then boom, I got stopped out. And then it decided to make the move. But again, not a smooth sale, right? You have to survive through this whole thing. And it, it, I was hoping to get to this moving average, which it, it did, right? But then it just tanked and now it's still chopping around. So I know, I know you guys are probably getting tired of hearing me say chop, right? But in the chat, I mentioned this. It says, you know, on choppy days are the days that I get really emotional. My emotions are more heightened, right? Because you get faked out, so you get frustrated. Uh, you kind of get impatient and you think you see things when in reality, it's just another trap. There's trust issues. They, the stocks are going up and down. It's kind of an emotion, emotional roller coaster. The whip sawing. So personally, for me, my Hulk day is always um, th they're always on choppy days because I try to revenge things. As you can see, like I knew what I was doing. I still traded it three times. Uh, but what saved me? What actually saved me? And I was really happy was my DOS risk control. I hit max loss, <laughs> and I was kind of I felt kind of happy in a way, right? Some twisted way. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. Take me out of my misery. And I'm not trying to lose on purpose here, but still, just just end this day because it's a mess. Just live to trade another day, right? And I'm really glad this is in place because you know the old Robert might have continued revenging this thing, and it would have went ugly really bad, like real fast. Like I probably would just got chopped up one over ten or something, right? Anyways, yeah, that's my day. Uh, snap my nine day winning streak. Uh, not a big deal though, because uh, you know I didn't blow up or anything. Uh, regular loss, red, regular red day on my journey here. Live to trade another day. So that's my recap, everyone. Thanks for watching.